Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, these readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign, though check them out so that you know which one I resonate with uh, you the most. And also remember, they're general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody. That is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. And I just want to say a massive thank you so much and a welcome to all of the new subscribers. There's been quite a lot of you in a really short space of time. So I just want to say welcome to the Radiant Nation. If you are one of them, it's lovely to have you. If you are um, a continued tubby, however, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to um, uh, all of this, I always bless my cards before I start. So before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. And they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week over the course of this week, you have... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've got the Hierophant card. Okay, so a lot of you are really paying attention to the bigger structures in your life. And for uh, others of you, it looks like you're really focused on your routines at the moment. Your routines, your rituals, the things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. For a lot of you, this may actually be a time where life itself is taking you through the process of initiation. This could be where you are seeking certain types of knowledge or where you are ready to to walk through a very big door of some sort. You're getting news or the push that you need in order to step into a brand new direction. I am going to say to you, my dear Saggies, this looks like it's going to be a really big change or potentially some kind of a culture shock. So I would keep that as a consideration. It's not going to be as quick as just kind of, you know, flicking on a switch as it were. Um, the other way that this could also show up for you is in all of these different areas of life or one specific area, you could be working with or dealing with a larger institution in some regard. Um, all right, like usually the Hierophant is like local authority, government, um, you know, places where you get legal documentation, passports and all of that kind of stuff. So for your uh, first card out, you've got the Seven of Cups and this for you falls in the position of your... Um, your actions and options. Look, I gotta be really honest with you. Remember what I said to you about tightening up your routines and stuff? That really is a place that you need to be focused at the moment. The Seven of Cups is always, I say always, nine times out of 10, this shows up where people have too many plates spinning, they're trying to do too many things to go in too many different directions and they end up dropping something. This is a time for you to, if there were ever a time for you to streamline your focus and get your shit together, right? Get your bat in gear, as they say, excuse my language, um, but this is it, right? And that's not to say that you, you don't have it together or anything like that. It's just wherever it is, and you will know what I'm talking about. A lot of you are probably sitting there going, oh, all <laughs> right. Like you'll know like that thing that you've added to this, or it's like just one thing too many. Streamline the process now. The other thing with this Seven of Cups, this can be a true self-illusory tendency where we're telling ourselves uh, one story and actually it's it's just not that way, right? So be really honest with yourself about where you're at this week. When it comes to uh, the options that are available to you with the Seven of Cups, it's... <sighs> It's not to say that the options that are available to you now are no good. They just might not be right for now. And this is something like you have to go through the process of asking yourself what is actually important right now, not three to six to nine to 12 months from now, not, uh, you know, in the past. Like what is important to you now? <coughs> Excuse me. What is important to you now and what is it that you're telling yourself is only a one-time shot? Because if that's the case as well, it's not true, all right? Now, when it comes to, for those of you that would like to book personal readings with me, yes, I offer personal readings, you can book in on my, uh, my website, which is radiantreality.com. And uh, you can also hit the link in the description box below. There's a whole bunch of playlists on my channel that will give you, the, there's lots of free content for you to check out. Life path numbers, life path readings, predictions for the year ahead, the universal eight year. Uh, if you're gonna watch anything, make sure you watch that. It's gonna tell you how you get the most out of 2024, all right? For your uh, communications and conversations, you've got the moon card. 
Look, I'm just gonna be straight up. The moon coupled with the seven of cups is not an easy combination, right? It does suggest that maybe some of the information that you have, sorry, that's the, all right, it does suggest that, I hate it when the camera does this, there we go. Um, it does suggest that some of the conversations that you're having, one, because of your own confusion, that's coming across and it's making people confused about you, what you're doing, what you're offering or how you step forward. The moon card in terms of communications in general, a lot of the conversations that you have this week, you might be approaching them from a very reactionary place. You might not feel like you're, reaction, you're being reactionary, but you are coming across as either that or potentially even a little bit flaky. The moon card is nebulous, right? It's not one of those energies that gives us clarity. It can sometimes represent where we realize that we have rose-tinted glasses on, and I truly hope this is that moment. But yeah, with this combination, uh, you know, it doesn't bode very well. Now, one way that this could play out, I'm going to go straight to those of you that are um, employed by somebody else. This could be where you find out a boss or a colleague actually has a, an addiction of some sort and quite a severe one. How that impacts you and your life, uh, I don't know, right? But it is something to consider. Uh, in fact, for all of you, there could be someone in your midst that has quite a serious addiction of some sort. I'm not talking about, you know, they like a few drinks. I'm talking about somebody who is probably an alcoholic. I'm talking about somebody that maybe has a problem with cocaine. I'm talking about somebody that has, you, you know, with prescription pills, whatever the case might be, we're talking about someone that potentially has a heavy addiction. Um, if you know this to be true or you've already had an inkling and this shows itself this week, with kindness and compassion, blow that whistle, right? Because you're going to be doing that person a favour because it looks like they might be oblivious to the fact that they have an addiction. Um, obviously, this comes up in your cards for some reason, so I'm speaking on it the way that it speaks to me. Now, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, um, this is not a time to take on extra debt. Uh, and it's also not a time to rely heavily, like be, be very mindful of how you communicate your needs and your necessities moving forward. Uh, I would also as well, like I said, be really clear this week on what you are trying to achieve. And in any conversations that you have with larger institutions, people in positions of authority and power, etc., make sure you know what you're talking about. This is not a week to wing it. If there were ever one of those times where that saggy optimism of it will be all right in the moment, this is not that moment, all right? I'm just gonna tell you straight up, this is not a week to wing it. This is a week where you really have to show up and that clarity that, that people are going to require from you, if it's not there, it could really work against you. When it comes to those of you that are employed by somebody else, like I said, there's some kind of addiction going on here, but it's not yours. Um, one of the reasons this is important, I guess, is if that person gets into some type of trouble and they think, shit, I'm about to be found out, addicts are they are not adverse to throwing anybody, including their mother, under the bus if they think it's going to save them. You don't want to be the person in that fire in line. When it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, there's a lot of unclear messaging around what you're offering, around, around what it is. There's probably a lot, more, whatever it is that you're trying to put forward, it seems that there are more questions than there are answers. And a part of that is probably coming from you because you're not 100% clear on what it is that you're putting out into the world yet. That's okay. We've all had moments like this. I've had several, darling, where I've put things that I'm like, oh, actually, that's not ready. Honey, that cake needs to go back in the oven because it's still soggy in the center. Okay, like you, you kind of get where I'm going with that. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, the addiction could be within the family. All right. Um, if you are listening to this, and some small part of you, whether you're employed, or, you know, whatever your status, and some small part of you is going, that might be me, I urge you to seek help, all right? Ask someone for help, someone that you trust, maybe go to a therapist or a counselor. Um, if some part of you is speaking up after hearing all of this, 
ask for help. Sometimes it's the most adult thing to do. And sometimes when you share that you need help with something, whatever that might be, whether this is, I don't know how to read, or you know what, I've got an addiction, or you know what, I'm pregnant and I have no idea what to do about it. Whatever the case might be, sometimes just speaking on it makes it, you realize it's, it's, it, it's fixable, all right? Now, for uh, before we get into your love and relations, which for you have the King of Swords, um, the next tarot cohort, uh, the next tarot course is uh, enrollment opens on the 18th of January and will close promptly on the 31st of January. We get started literally the very week after on the 4th of Feb. Uh, so, well, five days later on the 4th of Feb. Um, so if you want to be a part of that, there are bonus videos, PDFs. It's 12 weeks where you get to spend time with me every single week. There's live client demos, live client practice. There's practice on each other. You are going to get the whole shebang. Um, if you want to be a part of this, there are only 20 spaces. I keep the group deliberately small so that I can absolutely be of service and therefore each and every one of you. All right. Now for your um, love and relations, for those of you that are single, if you are connecting to someone, this might be an air sign person, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. It is possible that this person may say to you, look, you know, part of my my skeletons or, you know, my baggage is that I used to be an addict or I was once an alcoholic. I don't drink anymore. Whatever the case might be, they are sharing something with you about themselves. And, you know, for this, I have to rate people. You know, it's not easy to say like, oh, by the way, this is, you know, who, who, who I was in my past. Um, so there's that. Now, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, the King of Swords, because you've got the Hierophant card here, there is something very official being brought into this. This could be a legal matter. It could be, uh, you know, uh, potentially even something to do with the law or the police. Uh, you know, it could be a legal matter. It could also show up in a way that allows you to... Um, realize that you're going to need to get, you know, maybe you have to get like a restraining order or something along those lines. I hope that's not the case, but there is something that will need to be looked at professionally or even legally here. For your um, money and materials, you've got the Empress. So you'll be glad to know that the Empress, you know, your money is in a good space, providing you keep the boundaries solid, firm, and secure. Now you've got this with the Seven of Cups. Don't overreach financially this week, no matter what the case is. Don't promise what you know you can't deliver. You've got the Moon card with the Empress, which does suggest that something is gestating behind the scenes on a financial level. Um, and this could be something that shapes up over time, all right? So there's, there's light at the end of that tunnel. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the Empress tends to represent like your image, um, like your image, your aesthetic, etc. If you're planning to have cosmetic work done, this is not the week for it. All right. I'm not saying don't have it. I'm not saying whatever the case might be. What I'm just saying is this is not the week for it. You may not get the results that you desire. And with the moon card and the seven of cups here, one, you could be getting something that actually you don't really need. And two, you could be sold something by somebody who isn't really clear on what you actually want, but they're just happy for the sale. Watch out for that. When it comes to your home and environment, the Empress card is your the aesthetic or the external aspect of your home. So if you're having gardening, landscaping, etc., all of that could actually be a really good way for you to alleviate some of the challenges, pressure, or stress that might be going on, you know, in all of these other areas. Um, I'm really sorry I can deliver you uh, uh, better news this week, but hopefully you'll be able to ride it out. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care and I'll see you soon.